At this point in time, we want to go ahead and download the starter pack. Follow our documents to getting started. It'll show you where to download it. I've already downloaded it. Let's go ahead and extract this. It's going to give us a lot of different policy files. The one we're going to be using is social and local. Let me show you kind of where we're going to go. We're going to dive into this. The one we want is this guy right here, which is social and local account. We're going to create a workspace in Visual Studio Code, which I just loaded up here. And we're just going to add in a folder. The folder we want to add, and this is kind of what I like to do, is I'll go back and figure out where I want to navigate to. I'll copy kind of the reference up here, and I'll switch over, paste in here, station, and then hit Add. And this should add the exact correct folder system. Now I'm on the folder system. Go ahead and save that to make sure I've got all everything saved into my workspace on Visual Studio Code. The extension we're going to be using today, and I'll, I'll highlight where it's being used, is go to extensions, and like the fifth one down, and type in BDC. Well, the Azure BDC is the only BDC extension. Um, its production team actually developed it. There's a few people on our team that worked on this wing. I'll highlight kind of where those things are. The first thing we need to do, if we click on here, this, these files are very generic. We have things like your tenant. Uh, so first thing, we want to go through there and do a find and replace and update it with our actual tenant. Do the control F, we'll do is a nice find and replace feature. I can use the button on the left, which will individually place it. And I want to do this for all five of the files. Or I can just click on the right, which will do just replace all. Most of these will have two or three locations. You can see here it tells you, and if you leave it up here as you go through, it'll just find them automatically for you. So you don't have to do control F F each one of the files. There's other ways of doing this. You can, a couple methods of doing the find and replace, but this is just, I, I'm a visual person, so I, I like just kind of keeping it all out here. So let's go ahead and save all. That's good to go. I know that changed in effect. Um, now what I need to do is, remember those app IDs I created earlier? We need to go ahead and add those app IDs in here uh, within the login non-interactive. Again, that ROPC call that happens this is where we need to update it. I'll copy this and paste this out here, right in there. There'll be two of them I replace, the first one, the second one. Next one is going to be the experience framework. Paste it in there. I always like to delete it out. It's in there by 160. I always love like just looking at it manually because sometimes you think you controlled and copied it and it copied the wrong thing and then you're just shooting things. Not forget to save. We're going to be references, so always remember to save. And then our last step is we're going to upload these files and test to see if Chad actually did the thing he said he was going to do.